a time for being with friends and family and a time for eating good, yummy food. <laughs> uh, do you think of healthy eating around Diwali time? Because if you don't, then maybe you should. Uh, we eat an awful lot of sweet products uh, for this festival, don't we? And a lot of savoury stuff that's fried quite often. Uh, so should we focus a bit more on well-being, eating better? Can it be done even at Diwali time? Well, apparently so. So says my next guest, health coach and cook Sujata Dean. Now, she not only thinks so and says so, proof in her pudding, uh, or should I say mitai, uh, she, she has a book out, a short book on healthy Diwali treats and recipes. Uh, so she really does know her stuff. Sujata Dean, hello, evening. Hi, Gagan. Thank you so much for having me. A pleasure. Thank you very much for joining me this Sunday. How's your pre-Diwali weekend? It's been lovely. Party, meeting family, friends. Yes, very nice. Hope you're having a good one as well. Yeah, absolutely. What about food? What's cooking at yours this Diwali, Sujata? So it'll be a mix of different things. Um, some healthy, some not too healthy, but it's always got to be a balance between the two. Oh, really. uh, okay. So it's not all about making everything we enjoy healthy necessarily. No, it's, it's some things we can make healthy, but some yeah. things what we can do is to just find, um, you know, alternatives, uh, especially if you want to eat them frequently. So, it, for instance, I love gulab jamun, ras malai. Uh, those are my two mm. favorites. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But to have those in a healthier way, I'm not sure if that they'll taste the same. So rather than having two or three, which is what I used to do a long time ago, I would now just have maybe one. But don't do it, you know, like every day, just be maybe occasionally that you have it. But if you feel like having something more frequently, like let's say barfi, uh, ladoos, those, you can make some healthy swaps. And just really, make, can make, we now? Without, yes, without can. compromising too much of the taste? There will be a bit of a difference in the taste. But Gagan, if you think about why you eat something, yeah. Um, it's normally because you crave a certain texture or a flavor. Okay, right? yeah, that's fair, yeah. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's say, let's say if you want to eat barfi, uh, you want something that's cooling, that's sweet, um, you know, and something that maybe has like the, the, the sort of the flavors of cardamom, right? Or what, it, like nuts, nutty texture as well. Mm -hmm. So rather than having barfi, which is made, you know, with ghee or lots of sugar, um, why not make it healthier and make your own homemade, which I call my own homemade barfi, uh, which is a cashew barfi. You can make it or you can make one with, which has got um, oats in it. You can make some, because just by adding oats into a recipe, what happens is you're increasing the fiber mm -hmm. and you're reducing, you know, the other ingredients by a little bit. So it, it actually makes it more nutritious. And then you reduce the sugar. So if, if, for instance, you have your family favorite recipe, right, for gajar halwa yeah. or, you know, kheer, and you were to reduce the sugar by 20%, would anybody really notice, given everything you've just eaten in your main meal, would mm. anybody even really notice that you've reduced the sugar? True. Yeah. So it's making these tweaks rather than thinking, I've got a diet of the Diwali. Can I now just make it the way I live my normal life? rather than saying, you know, I'm going to, like, not enjoy Diwali because I'm dieting. Okay, yeah, that's a fair point you're making there. And some good examples as well. Healthy cashew nut barfi, healthy halwa. What yeah. about the savoury products, though? We've focused a little there on the sweet. Savoury, fried, very often. Um, very what, are, fried, are, are, there, are, there, are there healthier versions? What can be done? So there are healthy versions. Uh, you know, instead of deep frying, could you use an air fryer or could you use the oven? And yes, the taste may not be exactly the same, but your waistline will thank you for it. You know, you won't feel lethargic. You won't feel bloated. You won't feel, you know, run down. You don't feel guilty uh, because you're still eating the same food, um, but you've just sort of cooked it slightly differently, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's the savory food. I love bheel, right? Grew up, it's like, a, you know, sort of the street food, very snacky food. But bheel is made with ingredients that are, almost all fried. Uh, so in my recipe, rather than just using only fried ingredients, um, I swap them. I'm adding some chickpeas into it. So it becomes more like a chickpea, you know, chaat, 
and you add in some vegetables. So it bulks it up and then you add your chutneys. You add some imli, you add some, you know, um, a coriander chutney or, you know, I, I, instead of just using coriander, I also use a chutney made with a lot of spinach. So you're getting a lot of vegetables in your chart without even realizing it. You're getting protein in your chart without even realizing it. So most people would be like, oh, it tastes really nice because I've got the crunch, you know, I've got that spice um, and, it, and it's filling me up. So you're not snacking constantly because you're feeling more satisfied. Uh-huh. And, and you touched on this briefly there in, in your answer. Um, you have some interesting thoughts on not only how a diet affects one physically, but also how it affects people's mental well-being. Let's, let's talk a little more about that. Definitely the w- mental well-being, because um, if somebody is going through uh, maybe a health condition, like the, and in our Asian community, we have a lot of uh, numbers increasing for diabetes, for you know heart disease as well. So it's something that begins to you know affect them mentally as well. They're worried about their health, um, and and that you know stays with them. But also when you're overweight, it does affect your self-esteem. It does affect your confidence, and you don't like the way you look. Um, another thing is when we're eating a lot of sugary foods, we get onto this sugar roller coaster. And it's hard to come off this sugar roller coaster. So that affects your moods because one moment you're feeling really happy because you've just had, you know, your mitai. And then you come crashing down and you're feeling irritable and low energy. And then you're reaching for something else. So, you know, it affects your moods. Um, so, so it's like the weight, the health conditions. You know, it's many of these factors combine together to affect uh, mental health. Sujata, so, tell us more about your book. And, and the title of it, where we can get hold of these healthier versions. So uh, my book is um, called uh, Sujata's Healthy Treats, uh, the Bali Treats Recipe Book. You can go to my website, which is uh, sujatadin.com forward slash Diwali, and you can get the book there. Uh, one of the things I wanted to make sure with this recipe book is that it is, um, you know, using everyday ingredients that we can buy on our high street. I want it to also have um, ingredients that are affordable as well. And most importantly, I've kept the recipe book also super affordable at uh, just five pounds. So everybody can afford it. Because you mentioned earlier, you know, how are you going to, you know, to your to your listeners, are you going to be making, are you buying it? Yeah. You know, is it, is it affecting your pockets? Yeah. Um, so make your own mitai. It costs you a fraction of the price you're buying it for. And actually, it's more personalized. Your, your family, your friends will appreciate it that much more. You're absolutely right. So, Jatadin, thank you so much for speaking with me tonight. And happy Diwali to you. Enjoy the food. Thank you, Gagan. Happy Diwali to you. And thank you so much for having me today. Best wishes. Absolute pleasure speaking with you. Health coach and cook, Sujata Dean. Uh,